Welcome to the Chairquisition. This is where we take a game and we see if it survives trial by Fedora, Solus, and Ubuntu. And then, and then after all that, we ask, is it fun? Do we enjoy it? This week, we're taking a look at uh, Dark Souls 3. Uh, it's via Proton, not actually ported to Linux. It's developed from, by From Software on the <laughs> Fire Engine. From, from, yeah, and um, you can pick it up for about... Uh, God damn it, Pedro. Why'd you put euros in front of there? You can pick it up for about uh, 60, 60 USD. Um, in plus, plus minus your regional pricing. What is it? As fires fade and the world falls into ruin, journey into a universe filled with more colossal enemies and environments. Players will be immersed in a world of epic atmosphere and darkness through faster gameplay and amplified combat intensity. So, Ben, how, 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 to, how to play on a bunch of Ha, ah, you didn't blow up the uh, filter. So, <laughs> over here on 18.10, the Ubuntu's Ryzen 1700 16 gigs RAM 2060 SSDs and all that jazz. Does it launch? It's Proton, latest and greatest. Uh, no issue. I mean, it does take a minute. Kind of launches in the upper left-hand corner of the UHD monitor and a white screen of like, how is this going to play out? Works every time. Didn't have any issues with it. 1080p, far as performance, everything slammed to the right. Holds a solid 60. Unless it doesn't, it will occasionally dip into the 45s because reasons you do. Sometimes you're like, oh, it's kind of loading some new things. and But overall, completely playable. Graphics, take a look at it. No glitches. Didn't have a problem. The color palette, even though Pedro is like, no, wait till you get to the forest. Pedro, that forest looks decidedly brown, too. That's uh, the swamp, not he, the forest. I told you, see, <laughs> that's the excuse. I, I play an island. Uh, let's talk about that. To which I'll say, ha, 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 ha. fuck this game. Uh, they, this is one of those situations where the controls work as intended, so I can't fault it for that. I will throw this a solid clean bill of health with four chairs. On uh, Fedora 28, I was about to say 26, that's a lot. 64 bit with the uh, GTX 1080 Ti and the i7-6700K. If it launches, yeah, 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 it launches. Uh, performance wise, it more or less maintains a solid 60 at 1080. You can't bump it up to like UHD or anything, and I didn't bother trying. Um, but I didn't experience any particularly bad frame dips. Um, wasn't doing this on the FreeSync monitor either. Uh, graphics wise, I really, really, really love the aesthetic of these games. Grimdark Fantasy is a bit of a weakness of mine, and this game does it super well. Um, yeah, I I, 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 I love a lot about this game. I just don't like the gameplay. Control wise, yeah, uh, so there, there's a bit of a story here. Uh, by default, uh, the Steam input settings on the DualShock 4, uh, the mouse is bound to the accelerometer, the six axis. Yep. And so I was very, very curious while I was going through the menu, why is the mouse going all over the place? Is this going to be a problem in the game? Then I set the controller down and I realized, oh, um, from software does provide a couple of different uh, Steam input schemes, which is nice. Although one thing I did notice is that, um, is that uh, the thing for target lock, which is the clicking on the right stick, doesn't uh, work out of the box uh, because there's two contexts that the game uses, menu and in-game. And for whatever reason, Steam input thinks that in-game is the menu and that particular key isn't bound. Um, every, yeah, and beyond that, just my everything in my brain is just screaming for square to be attack. And it's, it's it's messing me up. I keep I drink too many Estes flasks as a result of that. <laughs> uh, I'll give I'll give it three cheers. That control issue was really annoying to uh, to sort. Um, and that's it. Yeah, and over here, uh, it launches just fine, but it develops a bad case of the crash when you try to record or stream it, which I should have remembered because I tried to stream it a while back and it kept crashing. But Sad playing normally, minute, if by the way. If you don't have uh, OBS running, it it's solid. It actually works really well. Uh, at 1080p, it basically stays on 60. The only times I notice the drops is when I'm getting invaded or I'm being summoned because I left my summon sign down somewhere and I'm being summoned to someone else's game. Uh, the graphics, yeah, it looks pretty. There's, It's kind of a shame that they use that piss filter that you can see on video right now uh, over some areas, uh, but... Others are actually very colorful and very... They heavily saturate the colors in some areas uh, deliberately. It, I don't know why they do that, but yeah, it's a good look at the game. Uh, also, every room that you walk into uh, is massively detailed with IKEA furniture because it blows up the moment you touch it. The controls, 
Steam input is built directly into the game. They even had a bit of a bundle with the Steam controller and Dark Souls 3. So, yeah, you know that the game was built for that specifically. At least the PC port was. Uh, and if you're like me and Jordan and you have a DualShock 4, uh, yeah, the 6-axis is bound to the mouse by default. So you just go into the controls options, you disable that. It's gone. And the you can also change the right trigger and right bumper to just, you know, circle in the the cross and all of, or the square and the um the triangle and all of a sudden the attacks are where they should be. That's basically what I had to do. So if it weren't for the uh, crashiness, I'd give it a full clean uh f- clean bit of clean bill of health. But as it stands, it only gets three chairs. <laughs> okay, well there you go. A couple issues here and there, more or less stable, as is befitting a something on the whitelist. Mm-hmm. So, Ven, yes. Je- Je- Jeff, on after all this, man, you know I'm gonna love this because on paper I should rather like the Dark Souls series. It's open world hack and slash, hell a nightmare fuel, something that gives me a chubby. This, this generally made me tilt my head and say, <laughs> it's retarded. Um, <laughs> It, it just did. We've all seen that coming. You're genuinely playing a video game with special needs. I mean, everything from the inconsistent menu navigation, multiplayer that requires a guide, and a jump mechanic that basically makes Scientology seem reasonable. Uh, after all, this is a series built on the ground, the foundation of shit controls and a camera hellbent on killing you. I can't really say anything that hasn't been said ad nauseum on the internet by people like me who just don't fucking get it. I don't. Dark Souls, I look at you with sympathy. It's not anger. Uh, however, I'm going to say this. You're doing something right. Yeah, you are. Because the internet genuinely loves playing the Dark Souls series and bitching about how hard it is or how bad it is. Uh, so you got a good formula and it works for some people. And that's awesome. For me, if you're wondering, hey, should I get into this? Don't. It genuinely just isn't that fun uh i don't like self like flagellation man that's not my thing not my thing one chair yeah speaking of self-flagellation i'm guilty of that because i beat the crap out of myself and my hardware when i get really really mad at yeah, games guess what happened with this one <laughs> um yeah i mean I, I i knew i wasn't gonna like it going into it i played a bit of dark souls 2 with some friends a couple years ago and i resolved very very quickly like i no, i i understand what this game expects of me i don't i i, I just don't have the patience or the temper to um Ah, get your face sucked out, Pedro. <laughs> Do it. Get, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Sorry. <laughs> now, for you audio of it listeners, I, I apologize. But um, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a shame though because like everything else about this game, I fucking love the the the, the soundtrack, the 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 story, the setting, the aesthetic. It's just so good. If I if there was like a turn based game based on this thing, I would be all over it. Um, but for whatever reason, like. Getting, getting my brain in the mode that this game expects me to be in, I just can't do it, and I just get too frustrated, and I don't I don't, I don't don't like injuring myself, and this game made me go through one keyboard. I gotta go buy a bunch of new keys for it now. Um, maybe maybe playing second someone in multiplayer might make it a little better for me, um, but, like, I, I did not enjoy playing this game. I enjoy watching people play this game, but it's not, it's, 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 it's just not for me. One share. Yeah, as the one person who finished Dark Souls and the DLC and Dark Souls 2 and the DLC, uh, take what I'm about to say with a wood grain ring. Trust me, it'll stop your sword from breaking before you get to the next bonfire. Dark Souls 3 is different than the previous two because the combat is faster. The combat is... uh, It takes a lot of inspiration from Bloodborne because it was released after Bloodborne. Uh, So, yeah, the combat here is not as slow and methodical as it used to be in the previous two. Uh, The... But this is not entirely a bad thing, especially if you're a newcomer to the series. This is probably the one that you want to start with because it's much more approachable. And... At a technical level, uh, considering how bad the uh, original ports for Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 were, this is actually very, very good. Uh, 
this is a game yeah like the level design it gets its porn from just watching level design documentaries because everything is riddled with lore everything is uh, there for a reason and that's how you get the story because the game doesn't hammer you over the head with story it just puts the story there and if you want to look at it you can go look at it uh if you like exploring and being presented with a challenge well i guess you could go play the talos principle but this if you're not into puzzles this is your alternative Dark Souls 3, being the most technically competent and having a faster, uh, I guess you could say more forgiving combat, is the most approachable of the Souls series. Even if I personally think that Dark Souls 2 was the best uh, game in the series. That's an unpopular opinion. Even though it's not my favorite Dark Souls game, it's still very, very fun for me. I love the... Soul series, uh, even um, Demon Souls on the PS3, which I totally played with our PCS3. But yeah, it, I love this series, and despite not being the best in the series, it's still a pretty damn good game. So I'm gonna give it four chairs. All right, well there you go. Um, we got, Did we anybody got any not see those four chairs coming? I you know I what? like the Soul series. <laughs> yeah. Pe Pedro, Pedro is very obvious about what he likes, and what he likes is to espouse, eja ejaculate constantly about One games. of the things I'm going to say about the Dark Souls series, and I did a ridiculous amount of research, because I want to know what makes people really dig this, and one thing I've heard several times was, well, it's got its own charm, to which I will retort. Charm is something reserved for indie games, not $60 AAA titles. You don't get to have fucking charm at that price. So everything is done with absolute intention, which I'm not going to fault the developers for. I mean, they built it to play like it plays and fucking suggestion stick is the controller and butt shots. That was kind of funny, but that gets old yeah. after a while. <laughs> um, yeah. What, 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 what do you call it? There's, the, there's, the, there's that old meme of like that interview with Miyazaki where he's like saying, Playtesters were saying this game was too hard, so I made it harder. Like, <laughs> I don't that basically it, boils down the design ethos of, the, of these games. I don't even feel that it's unpopular opinion. I mean, if you want to be patient, you can effectively cheese your way through this whole fucking game. I've watched people do it on YouTube. Oh, without yeah. much effort. Yeah. <laughs> And the game actively rewards you for just luring enemies off cliffs or, you know, throwing them off of an elevator shaft. Or, or luring like them it. into Dragon's Breath. Yeah. That's I, how I cheesed I like a lot it. of souls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, there, there you go. That's the LGC hot take on Dark Souls 3. Stay tuned when we review Bloodborne when the PlayStation 4 emulator comes out.